Captain Young, this is your host for Open Mind Blood of Games. We're continuing our journey today on the road, so I hope you enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Took a little uh, song around off camera, and then we grabbed two more stone tablets. We're going to take them here to the trader and turn them in. Let's see what he has to say. Mm. Ah, hello, what can I do for you? Show him a stone tablet. The trader takes the stone tablet from you, lays the tablet next to the hmm. others. Uh, judging by the age of the stone and the shape of these lists, these are part of the same set. We'll keep this for now. Come across any more, we'll join them together to form a square. There should be one more to find. Oh, you've got another. Wonderful. Please let me see. The trader takes the stone tablet from you, places it alongside the others. He turns them over to arrange them together in a square. On the underside of the tablets, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the hmm. ceiling. Ah oh, yes, go on. Began subscribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pens and reads the laugh. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick in night, the deep will open its scars, protect us, O guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, and these tablets predate the lighthouse of Greater Mara by centuries. Fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take this back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere. Intriguing mystery. Do let me know if it may make, make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me? I do not. It's cool that we got the fused tablet now. Uh, return to town. Undocked. I remember last time, last episode, we were told to come talk to the uh, lighthouse people. Clear crabs, eat some others, we'll get some money while we're here. Lighthouse keeper and see what they're gonna bring us. Fish farmer first. <gasps> what is it? What do you know about the silver and crimson book? You shuddered at the very mention of the mm. book. You're really asking me after all this time, you know it must be returned. He looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on, for her sake as well as yours. Take control, be rid of the thing once and for all. <sighs> so we have to go? I guess? I don't know. That was kind of odd. I'm gonna go around and collect some fish off camera and I will be back. Alright, we're here at the figure in gold. Let's see if he'll take the items we have. Answer. I think the figure holds us for the top of the shape of the fish. Looks like a red snake. Rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you just saw. Another sacrifice. One of the shape of the scroll. This one looks like a pain tube. If you bring the small fish up to their mouth, they bite where the heart is. They're cracked lips. Heart to reveal a part of a sharpened skin. Thence, open me. And curl the final scroll. It shows that a blue crab. Crack the bend on the crab's legs apart and feeds like the flesh inside. Lips still covering the crab's flesh. Take a book from inside the rubber hand it to you. Hands and kick. We await signs. Cross their arms and appear to fall into deep sleep. Here we are given a book. Advanced fishing. We're gonna continue doing some fishing off recording just because I'm free balling just trying to find where these things are. Going to all the various areas, but we're gonna fish some more. There's some more hooded figures I know we have to do. That was the one in gold. They're red, purple, and blue still. We will be back. 
Alright, we are back at the purple figure. You approach the hooded figure, deep violet robes, mass, face of food. Fisherman, feed. First appearance of the rest of the game says, feed the mouth. The figure reveals a scroll, a picture up top. This is the tarpon. They hold the fish in front of their face, steady and let the tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses and on itself under the pressure. The figure looks the where he and picks out the heart, placing it on the top. Stain the mind. To show you another scroll, this one shows a horseshoe crab. The figure turns the crab over to expose its soft underbelly. Scoop out its inner as a sharp turning out consuming the point. And it's doomed the sky. The figure shows the final scroll revealing a barrel eye. The figure begins to consume the fish head first. And are seeing teeth searching for the heart of the thing. And the fish is halfway gone. To stop and throw it aside. Pick a book from inside the robe and give it to you. The sky will fall. Cross her arms and appear to fall into deep sleep. We've done purple and gold. Now we gotta do red and blue. Still have to go find some of the stuff, so I'm gonna continue searching and I will be back. Here we are at the blue figure. We approach the hooded figure, sap in the dark blue robes. Their face is very visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and the wind. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unrolls paper scroll to point to the shape of top. Appears to be a blue mac. Expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gold of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it in their mouth unceremoniously. More, still, empty. You can to another shape in the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mac. Again, they rip up the flesh, drawn out of its heart, consuming it as quickly as it hurts. Almost fulfilled. Point to the fish in the final scroll. This is a snake mac. Fish has barely left your hands before the splinter nails begin to peel out its scales. The heart is extracted into battle. Their head tilts upward to you. They take a book from inside the rope and hand it over. Hunger saturated. Now I wait. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. The blue figure. We still got to go find the red figure. Be back when I find everything for it. And here we are at the left red figure. You approach the hooded figure, they're standing expectantly, vermilion red robe blowing in the Fishermen, sir. The voice from the hood cuts through the human air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. And they point it with a name of Tusk Field. The figure draws its ceremonial knife from the robes and slices the fish, cutting out its heart. And place it on the sand and front. Bring down the sky. Another shape on the scroll. This one looks like a sailfish. Once the knife comes out again with the heart is extracted, it's placed on the stand beside the heart. Raise the deep. The figure points to the last one. This one is a grilled shark. They drag the shark's body around, find the right angle before plunging the knife in, pulling out the heart. They place it on the stand beside the other. Without looking at you, they take the book from inside the road, throw it to the sand at your feet. Figure nails before the fish hearts and become still. And you leave before you decide any more hearts. That was the red figure. So now we've done all the figures. We will be back. And I found the last two fish for the uh, rarities. Proceed. Talk to the traveling merchant. Tell him. Huh. Hey again, for that chat. I found those rare mm. fish. What do you want? I found a gold ah. Great news, I'll add it to my record. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll have some use for it. What about the other fish? I found ah. the gold. I'll add it to my record. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find use for it. That's all done. Wow, I never thought I'd complete these records. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I will be good. The fish market. See, this thing, this thing is a lot. Oh, do I have other uh. fish? Alright, and. Mm. We are. We're gonna sell 
please. I do not need them. And that's another pursuit done. Got a few books to read. But uh, we're doing pretty good. We gotta find the door, light the statues, and search for the relics. Everything at the iron rig. We still have to go back and figure out what figure in white. Eastern edge of the Pell Reach has It's just weird. I have not found it at all. That's why we need to find a door that can be opened with a fuse tablet translated. Mention something about guiding. I know that's here in the Devil's Fire because it's the only place with an ancient lighthouse. Which we might as well go to. the many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse at its base of the solid door. You can't see the handle, but there's a layer of sockets carved into the door. The fused tablet clicks into place, the door rumbles before sliding aside. Step inside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse, the stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. Flame of the sky. Take everything in the room. We undock. So that pursuit. That was the stone tablet. So now I have to figure out how to light the statues of the fathomless flames. Search for relics. We will be back here in a bit. We have found the figure in white and we got the fishy. Ice takes form. The hooded figure was rolled forth in the grove and the grove. The villain was rolling on a corrupted fish and aberrated ice fish. The hooded figure places the fish in the ice at their feet, kicking loose the snow over to cover them. The stars leave the sky. Another scroll, twisted shape, images of aberrated sea stars on the face. Stars? The sea stars are arranged in a circle on the ground. Moments later, a cinnery hill stomps down through each of them. Fall to the deep. A final scroll. When obtained and patched by some dark liquid, the thinner aberrated stargazer appears from the pit. The year places the body of the stargazer at the center of the crushed sea stars. They angle it to the crater eye to the sky. The tension is still fixed. And the fish in the front, the hooded figure gestures with a book and a nearby rock to the paint. As you leave, the figure is still focused on the grim fish, adjusting its position, waiting, adjusting, over. That's the white figure. It should be everything under the Pell Reach. Iron Rig 100%, Pell Reach 100%. We are almost here. We gotta figure out the Flames of the Deep, the Collector. And then this one right here. Not sure what that one is. We'll be back when we figure out more. Alright, we are here at one of the shrines. And uh, we actually have nothing for this one right now. We have to come up. Uh, we'll back to this, but we're going to do the fathoms of the flames and whatnot here. So we're going to run around the beach these shrines. Hopefully we can find everything. Whoa, that's a big boy. Whoa, that's a big boy. I need to work some pieces. I only have a little bit of a stone tree. 
shrine. Ew. This one is Brock spits out with an almighty cry crumbles by revealing its core. Navigating is a little hard to do. Especially because we're trying to avoid those and Whoa, hey, what? Perfect. We should be right next to another shrine. Yeah. Now I'm trying this one the one that's quat lobster. Fight the crab. Spits out a syrup plate. Wood. Gear. Another flame and a gobble. Carefully maneuver and not get throw some of this into our storage. And we need some more explosives. Ah. to find a few malformed fish or aberrations. Thought that was one. Nope. Anything will do. Cracks away, revealing its core. Crested talisman. Storage. So we got a talisman and some last of the flowers. Food. Yeah, let's uh, blow that up. We still. Well, we got all the all the planes. We should be able to come back to here. We do the do. Before we do that, pursuits. At the statue of the Temple of the Fathomless Flame, I dock at the old temple of the Devil's Spine. Was approached by some sort of fanatic who wants to help my help. He wants my help to turn the ceremony. I need the light of the statues. Apparently, I can find the fathomless flames at the shrine of the deep in the area. This should be the statues. Catch a hold of the stone crystal. It's empty. 
Or playing resting the statue's hand. Stone crucible is empty. Pull flame, lowers in the statue's hand. And the right one. Pull flame, lowers in the statue's hand. Preparations are to complete the fanatic awaits. What is it? The flames are like, ah, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You will follow him up the steps of the temple at the top of the black stone altar stacked. High upon the altars are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe my hair around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. I found it during my right of proving those in the south cabbage for creatures of power. I sapped at my spirit when I first recovered it, but now I appreciate the strange nourishment of the plant. It's almost yours, may it mark the start of your journey in the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the fire. He raises his scroll and he begins to chant. What are you doing? He ignores you. Moon picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. The cold blue flame rises from the Sodom River of the Stop this, look away, say nothing. The freezing blaze can climb to his legs. His chanting continues, no pain is detected in his mind. He lifts his arms skyward, seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. He rages for a moment, then it abruptly dies by a cold mist pulls around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps its to sea. No trace that fanatic remains. Fire is falling down. Inspect the fire. Hey, we have to watch. Take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hand spinning wildly below at the cracked face. Nice. So we can get rid of this. Pursuit. So that's neat. So I'm gonna go try to figure out what this one is. And then we could go to the collector. We got a few things left to do, so we do that. While uh, selling around, I found the last piece of the map. Let's see if we can figure out where the field is. I have a protection thing pulled up just to kind of try to help us. It's about C negative 3. I'm going to see the positive. Underneath the surface of the water is a floating chest held down by a chain that disappears in the oh. All of that. Look at this. Silver trinket. Tarnished the wood spike. And a ruby ring. I found that map piece and then I was like, okay. We're going to assemble this. And Alright, so from there, I've got to go sell it and show my trinkets. I've got a lot. I think the fastest way is going to be the venture. Which technically, we can go give this guy the last item and end it here if we want it. Crater. Mm. Open the door. Alright. Yeah, you 
don't deal with that, but you do. Story. Storage. 3,500 lumen. May have installed that. Again, you don't need those. Go for rain. I think that is everything. Alright. I'm gonna go back to my storage. We're going to... I didn't have it assembled right. There it is. I use that in the power. Oh, I still have a power. So this says 3000. This does more. Some tiles turn by two of the glyph and the hut carved into the But we can do something for this. Don't know why. We are gonna go sell this. I can see glass. Sell, and we are gonna run over to the trader, buy another light. Technically, I could sell these. That'll give me more. Five thousand six hundred um, books. Do not engineering. Ship right. We're selling you all of our crap we don't need. You won't buy it. That is not fun. What <gasps> house? What is it? Nothing new. Buy it at the bloom on me. From here, I'm gonna go see if I can find whatever our last pursuit is. I don't want to uh, turn in the last collectible until we get our last pursuit. I will be back. Dragging around, I think I found it, because this one says SOS. Castaway, I'm saved. Oh, you're a site for survivors. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must be two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas. When a wave hit us, brought us up, it jolted overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have came back by now. The yours was the first ship I was seen by. Is the boy see me looking for me? Tell him yes. Well, I'm sure they're out there with me. Can you give me the little model stranger? I'll be able to catch up. Catch them there the next time you stop by. Yes, I'll take you with them. That's the way he climbs up. Whoa! Rock out of nowhere. Ooh, more rocks out of Ah, sweet smell of civilization. Drink smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. If someone has been saved, he seems 
I'm not much to give you as you imagine, but I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore for me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth some for you. He removes a signal ring from his left hand. Press it into yours. Shift the little thing that blaze proudly on the ring so that Shibble is sure to bring good luck to any captain of course. Better horizons, friends. Farewell. Ooh. Oh man, that was... Okay, so that was the last cycle. thought so. I pulled up. I'm like, why is this saying SOS? So, this thing... Versatile rod. Also, don't need it. I need to sell a few things. Badly. A trader. What do you? I sell this. And, uh, we're gonna go out and about, see what we can find. We'll be back. Well, we know what time it is. Time to turn in the last relic. Let's see what we get when we do this. Climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause crossing the threshold. We can conceal it, Christine. What is it? Are you human? You know what these relics are. The words you read from the book, what they do to me. Are you human? The inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. Anything else? How do you know what these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seas. I see the swells that give shape to a formless. I hear the waves whisper the secrets to the winds. And I speak to the currents that hold memory of all they claim. Anything else? These words you read from the book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extend its power towards you. Is there one particular wish you want to know more about? Haste. Words of haste are instant and cruel. They impart a terrible speed on your vessel. Be warned, however. It may put a great deal of stress on your engines. <sighs> Other powers you wish to know about. Manifest. Use of these words will induce a trance like state. While in this state, time will blink in an eye, and when it is over, you'll find yourself here. Always a caution against overusing and selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. <sighs> More powers. Banish. The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly throughout, it can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. <sighs> there are other powers you wish to know about. Trophy. The, the phrase insulin calls the closest shoal of fish, ready to lead them in swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need to uh, not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Hmm. There are more you wish to know about. Never mind. Tell me more about this book here. Which book? The one here? The wiry grin. He pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of the histories of the Grey Isle. Quite a chore. <laughs> Play dumb. You know what book I mean. Play dumb. You. Hypocrisy is wearing. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole more yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, it's left in that dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust molts hanging in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So is she. <sighs> you wanted to forget, begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Closer. You take a step close crack in the room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. Strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Uh, pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this. Plainly before you sink us to despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen the power firsthand. You will the power to release her from her slumber. You can undo everything, undo what you did. 
delivered the relic. You approach, drawing closer and incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. Take the watch, its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching, its rhythmic struggle trying but failing to move forwards. So you place it in front of the collector. So it has been some decades since I last laid up my eyes upon this. The sound of the mechanisms has grown less intense. That our collection is complete. I must admit, I'm surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. You'll see her again soon, and it'll be worth it. You know who? You know this. You know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. Okay. I need some time to prepare. So be it. Return when you are prepared. Do we have the book? I do not know. I do not see it. So, so it is not so. That thing will be gone. I want to run over and talk to the lighthouse keeper one more time. See if us giving that to him triggered anything. Pick them up. You know what? Let's do. Sell off all of our fish. Don't overcommit yourself, especially. Yeah. And lighthouse. Keeper. What is it? I have the book. You should have. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of the window of lucidity. Now is your time to act. You are still. Do you still remember where it happened? In the gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you are ready, I'll point the way. She's wanting to take us somewhere, and so is the collector. I trust her more. Warning, you're entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be safe from this point. One more, two, ten. Yes. Warning, one more time. Your progress will not be safe from this point onwards. Yes. We must wait until night is the thickest, until the ocean is as it was years ago. I think we're going to get one of the endings. It's time, I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what is right. For her, throw it back. Go. Kill. Place, throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp and weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons trail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head and low groan rumbles from the book. It goes by another from the depths. Throw it back. Throw it into the foaming wall. Salt Games. We will let the ending 
and go through. That was a really fun game. Uh, we will go in the head and try to do the bad ending as well. Uh, we've done all the side missions for the main game, the DLCs. The only thing we really have left to do is to catch one of every type of fish, I think. Oh, and finish reading two books. This was a lot of fun. I definitely uh, enjoyed it. I'm glad they had DLC for it too. The Iron Rig and the Big Ice Isle, which I'm blanking on the name of. They were both a lot of fun. Plus getting a uh, icebreaker for the ship was cool. And Department of Conservation for New Zealand Bird Songs and Poems. Of the northern lights and the lights in the background. Kind of sad that the good ending is us dying. We got ate alive by a fish, but it removed the fog that was over the whole area. I wanted to go and see the lighthouse keeper. Here we should do the good ending before we try to do the bad ending. There's a lot of people who were in this game. I may on my own time go through and try to collect all the fish. Possibly. 100% sure I'm going to do it, but it would be fun to do. I like the uh, various Big Morrow, Greater Morrow, Little Morrow fishing villages. I wish there were more NPCs. The only thing is, like, I do wish there were some more NPCs. And more upgrades. Like, our little fishing vessel is maxed out. Biggest hole possible, fishing, lights, rigging, all that. I do wish there were a few more. I'm kind of curious what the last thing to unlock with uh, Relic would be, because we do have one question mark thing still. I love the simplistic art too. Like, it's not anything overwhelmingly graphic, but still really pretty to look at. The waves and everything, it just kind of reminds me of like Pirates of the Caribbean. I love uh, games like this, like Disney had a Pirates of the Caribbean I played back in probably 2006 with one of my friends and like we were addicted to that we never paid for like a subscription so we were on the free plan running around devastating the seas as two pirates playing together it was a lot of fun I, I thoroughly enjoy pirate games I had a pirate hat until uh, we moved and it got destroyed in the process. I tried to fix it a few times and I was like, no, nah, it just it has to go. And I had to fly the old Jolly Roger the whole time about. It's my favorite flag.
Yeah, German, French, Italian, Korean, Spanish, Chinese. You don't know the difference between simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. Japanese, Russian, Brazilian, Portuguese. Oh, it's doing the uh, credits for the DLC as well. That's neat. Wonder if it still would have done that if we didn't do the DLC first. I was looking around uh, before uh, I even play the game, and they recommended doing the DLC before you do the main game, just because it'll help you out, which is why I did the iron rig first. Plus, after exploring around the area, it just seemed like since it was kind of in the center, is a good idea to do. And then the uh, ice area, I was surprised at how fast that went. I thought that would have definitely had quite a bit more time down there. But it wasn't that many uh, pursuits, and it didn't take you that far. You stayed all in the ice area. Or the iron rig took you over the entire map. I would love to see a sequel to this. Somebody else finding the book and continuing on. I believe that is the last of the credits. Let's continue. This is the four. Now let's go to. I I haven't seen the either in it. I just need the two. I'm ready. Let's make one final voyage this time. I'll be. I will be with you. I'm ready. Morning. Yes. Morning, yes. Relics are coming with us. We should wait for a fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Our destination is an open expanse to the west of Greater Mara, and marked it on the map. We must not tarry to the open waters with such a significant cargo. Make haste. Shape disappears from the mirror, mirror, and chill rises in your body as you turn to leave the collectors with you. Nobody there. Maybe that. Okay, I just ran straight into it. We never figured out the last one. the chain to the deep and throw the necklace of them. Find them to this world once more and throw the ring of them. The door to the starry heavens. You slot the key in the lock of the music box and lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box 
box overboard and its key left in the Like suck games. Looks like we brought our wife back from the dead. And now the world is destroyed. That is dredged. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next game. Next episode. Peace. God bless.